So, how to back up your wallet? First thing that you want to do is go to wallet and then create a new wallet. I made a folder here. And this is the wallet that I'm using at the moment. This was just created, a new test wallet. So you just put the name in that you'd like to use for, for your wallet and you save it in the directory that you want to keep it. So once it's there, you want to make a copy at least of it. And it doesn't really hurt to make another copy. So now you have your wallet files and some copies of that. That is the first thing you... Now you should press save if you're making a new wallet, but I m just made this wallet so I'm going to be pressing cancel. And now you need to see your key. Uh, the key gives access to this wallet and all the funds on it. There's nothing on this wallet. So I can show you. Um, you need to go here to wallet and then export keys and then it will ask you for a password if you are uh, encrypted wallet then you type in your password if you don't have any then you just press OK now you see here the key to this wallet this is what you need to copy and paste somewhere safe You can also print this out and put it in a safe somewhere. Either way it has to be on a secure location. If people have access to this number, they can access this wallet. So you don't want to share this key with anybody. I'm just sharing it for, for an example. Now, once you have copied this key, which is the most important backup you can also save the key file which I recommend that you do so just click on that we're gonna go to our wallet folder and we're gonna call it new wallet keys and then just save it give it whatever you like to name it obviously uh, the number of the wallet and uh, something to identify uh, the file and then just save it and uh, to clarify this key is the most important thing this is what gives you access to the blockchain information that controls your funds so this key is everything. If you lose your wallet files and you still have this key, there's n nothing to worry about because you can simply do this. And we can also load from file. So we can retrieve and restore this wallet. So that is it guys, there's three different types of backups that you should be making. First is your wallet file, second is your wallet key file, and third and most important is the, is the key, the spent key of your, your, your wallet. So you should not share this key with anybody and be really careful obviously and that is that guys now you have made good backups of your wallet and hopefully you will never lose a single coin so always first make proper backups before doing anything there's a lot of people that are 
excited in the cryptocurrency world and uh, they make an online wallet or a paper wallet and they send coins to it before they actually know that the wallet is working they have never accessed the wallet guys this is really risky and usually you will be sorry later many people lose their coins this way so that's it guys hopefully you have enjoyed this short video on how to back up your wallet key is the most important thing wallet file and key file come secondary because you can al always there can be some data corruption or some issues and th that will make it harder to read the wallet file even though it contains the key so it's always best to have that key um, other crypto note coins might also use this same wallet so you can actually use this video for other coins uh, such as iridium also a crypto note coin uses the same wallet um, slightly different though bitcoin has uh, the best wallet most fast wallet so either way this is the new GUI wallet um, what you need to be aware of is whenever you make a new wallet your older wallet file might be replaced so it is really important that you back up your wallet that has coins on it and put it in a safe spot alright guys take it easy and have a good day